Hi peeps and welcome back to CrackTube. Today I am going to show you a very interesting farming spot. How you are going to prepare yourself for the upcoming raid that is coming to come out. I don't know when but I guess it's actually gonna hit pretty soon on the WoW Classic servers. So to prepare ourselves for the Black Wing Lair we are going to create a lot of greater shadow protection potions. Because yes, they are the two most important bosses that do a lot of shadow damage. So we definitely need to prepare ourselves for those boss fights. So this is the way how we will do that. So to create the greater shadow protection potions, we of course need dream foil. You guys don't need a guide on where to get dream foils. If you do, let me know down below in the comments. But we do need shadow oil. And to make shadow oil, we do need these mats. And that is the mats that we are going to make a video about today. We need Grave Moss and Fade Leaf. So here we are in Skull Monastery with my Druid because that's gonna be like the easiest way for me to farm my Fade Leaf and my Grave Moss. So first of all, we are going into the graveyard. Let's go! I'm going to show you guys how you can do this path as easy as possible. Of course, if you got a druid or a rogue who can do uh, herbalism, that's gonna be easier because you can stealth. But if you are level 60 or even around level 50, you can actually pass by those guards without any trouble, as you can see. So... Yeah, of course, you don't really need to be afraid to fight them, but yeah, if you fight them, your farm is gonna go way slower and you're gonna waste a lot of potential. So, I always try to fight the least as I can to go as fast as I can to farm those. So here we are on the field. This is going to be the place where we are going to find the Grave Moss. But as you can see, you can also find King's Blood. Uh, we don't really need those, but well, there is no reason not to pick them up, of course. Um, you can be very lucky that you can find like around 6 Grave Moss just by doing this path, like that you got 3 out of each plant. You don't really need to worry, it's just gonna be like right here, as you can see. And that's going to be 2 Grave Mosses. One more over there, so they always spawn like at random places on this field. But very easy to farm. Uh, what I do is, whenever I'm done with these, uh, I just reset the instance and I go back in again. Of course, there's like a maximum amount of times that you can do a dungeon before the game is gonna tell you like you have done too many dungeons and you have to wait a certain amount of time. Cathedral. Of course, this is going to be like the, the toughest one, highest level one. So here, if you are level 60, they are still going to be able to see you unless you got stealth. Uh, what I do with my shaman, if I really want to waste the least amount of time, I don't fight them and I use the elixir of invisibility. So I know it's maybe a waste, but I like to be very fast with my farm to get as many as I can because... I gotta tell you peeps, the amount that you need to pay on Action House for the Grace Moss and for Fate Leave is insane. The moment that the new patch is gonna drop and the new rate is gonna come out, I guess that those prices are going to even get higher and higher. Because it's really strange, right? For a level 60 rate potion, you need to go back to farm herbs that are like below level 200 herbalism. So yeah very very strange and quite annoying if you want to farm them but yeah as you can see there is like an easy way to do it uh, is she gonna see me Ooh. that's a good thing if you're level 60 they don't really aggro you that fast and as you can see uh, sorry I didn't explain it the ones that you can find right here are the gold thorns and the live root. So you're not gonna be able to find any of the materials for the elixir of shadow protection, but I just wanted to show you guys. Like these are also very interesting if you wanna make mana potions, of course. So yeah, that's also very handy if you wanna farm those. Because I don't know, 
gold thorns are very annoying to farm as well, if you ask me. So I always pick those as well, just to get some more extra out of this before I reset the whole dungeon. Like, I always do the four of them and then I reset it. So okay, now for Fate Leaf you can find them in those two dungeons. So very interesting, you can find them in Arms. Arms is very easy, but Library is a little bit annoying. Um, if you don't have any stealth, like for example over here Arms, no way you're gonna be able to pass those without stealth. They're gonna aggro you each time. So right here is our first Fate Leaf. And you might think like, yeah Crash, can't we just farm them in the wild? Yes you can, but as you can already imagine, a lot of people are gonna need those. So there's gonna be a lot of competition on the field where you can find them. And the thing is you need an insane amount of them. Like for each potion you're going to need 4 fate leaves and 4 of the grass mob. So this is actually going to be like the hardest place to, to go in without uh, stealth because yeah a lot of patrols and like those guys in the middle, those two, those are the ones that you can't skip without stealth. Uh, even at level 60 there's no way to pass those without getting aggro. But the other ones you can do it but it's, it's really annoying with those patrols because you're gonna have to be really careful not to pull everything. And of course, if you got like a DPS, it's, it's very easy to kill them. But like for example, me as I have two healers, a Shaman level 50, a Resto and a Resto Druid level 60. Um, I can kill them of course, but it's not like amazing for my time. So yeah, I try to avoid as much as I can. That's why I do it on my Druid. So yeah, there you go. So peeps, I hope that this was an interesting video for you. Uh, definitely let me know if you also were doing this farm. And yeah, I hope that you're gonna be able to prepare yourself for the upcoming raid as soon as possible. If there are other things that you really want me to show you guys, definitely let me know down below in the comments. And yeah, I'm going to keep it right here. And I hope to see you next time. And do not forget, I'm Crash and I'm out. Bye bye.